everyone, my name is Ashton and I'm just trying to get it together. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing Shane Dawson. I don't know if you've been on the internet whatsoever recently, but Shane Dawson is being dragged to filth. Um, and I've got to say that I think that he deserves it. It's sad. It really is because I've got to say that I was ignorant to the whole situation. I did not know about the things that were in videos. I had no idea of the things that were coming out, but we'll get into that in just a second. So anyway, recently there have been a lot of accusations against Shane Dawson um, for being a PR word. Hopefully you can fill in the blanks. So the issues surrounding Shane Dawson with him putting blackface on his channel and racism and him being inappropriate with children. And there is a very distinct tone of using jokes for shock value. And it's unfortunate that I didn't know about this until now. Like I had known about the whole cat cancel thing before. Um, but he had apologized it away and I was like, oh, okay, he's sorry. He said it was a, a shock value joke and it's okay. He didn't mean anything by it. I was ignorant to the whole thing. I will say it. I didn't know I was, it was ignorant. I didn't do my research into who he was. I was ignorant to it. Okay. I didn't do my research. I'll just go ahead and throw that out there right now. So what ended up happening was... A lot of people have been digging into the drama of last year with Dramageddon 2 with the Bi Sister video that canceled James Charles. A lot of people think that Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star orchestrated the drama um, and pushed Tati Westbrook into making the Bi Sister video that canceled James Charles and caused him to lose 3 million subscribers. And so with that, people started to dig into that because Tati Westbrook didn't post a video for a month, six weeks, and she still hasn't posted a video. She's uploaded some cryptic tweets with some videos, uh, like some lyric videos and such. Um, and so people are starting to look into Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. And so people are digging deep. He posted this very long notes app apology and it wasn't even an apology and he basically left the beauty community um, and if you would like a video of me analyzing this let me know because I have a lot of thoughts um, but if not there are a lot of videos that analyze it you start to see some people come forward and they start to tell some things about Shane Dawson and mainly Jeffree Star that are alarming People like Cameron Lester. Cameron Lester is a boy in beauty who I've seen through Rich Lux and Jeffree Star, who's very talented. He comes on a live stream and tells basically how Jeffree Star used him as a token black guy. Um, someone who is used to be basically a shield as, oh, I have a black friend, so I'm not a racist. Um... And he tells this story about how Shane was cussing about how he was so mad at James and yada, yada, yada. And how he knew that something was brewing about James. And he didn't tell him and he was sorry. Then something else comes out about uh, Jeffree Star from a guy named Tab. And Tab was friends with Jeffree, said he still uses bad language against African Americans. And then drama channels start to come out saying that they're on the payroll where Jeffrey slides in their DMs and feeds them all kinds of information. This information makes him look good and it gives them a lot. It, it fast tracks the information to them so that they get more views and it makes Jeffrey Star look good. So for a while, Jeffrey Star and Shane Dawson weren't addressing anything. By the way, Jeffree Star still isn't addressing anything. Shane Dawson is. Um, Shane Dawson released that, oh my gosh, and it was terrible. It was terrible. It was widely, widely criticized. I, I mean, I, w I went on Twitter and I looked for a long time, and I don't know many people besides his 
hardcore stands who liked it. And then he even amends it. <laughs> like he makes another page to add to it. And it doesn't fix things. So then, days later, he releases an apology. And this apology is very similar to Jenna Marbles. Jenna Marbles came out, and God bless her, Jenna Marbles had been receiving minimal hate. And she came out and apologized for things that people weren't even asking her to apologize for. And she was like, I'm leaving YouTube. I'm, I'm sorry for all these things. Y'all weren't even asking me to be sorry for these things, but I'm sorry for all this because it's conflicting to me. I'm sorry. And she made no excuses. And it's the apology of the century, guys. She was like, do not call me an unproblematic queen. I mean, props to her. Like, I mean, pro I even feel weird saying props to her because it's like she makes it to where you don't even want to say thank you because she is growing so much and she's showing so much growth that you feel weird saying thank you because she wants to be so humble. Do you get what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments below if, if you know what I'm saying. Thank you, Jenna Marbles. Like, girl. Girl. So he comes out with this apology video. Um, it's heavily criticized, by the way. I'm glad that Shane called his Twitter apology an essay. <laughs> where he had the, like, he had the four notes apologies. <laughs> and then he had the addendum <laughs> to that. <laughs> that was an essay. Um... But he talks about that. He talks about using blackface. He talks about his inappropriate jokes with children. He talks about his friends. I mean, he talks about different things. And I still don't feel like he touched on all of the things that he should have. What's interesting is he said that Jenna Marbles inspired him. And I'm kind of lost on that. It's like, why did Jenna Marbles inspire you? Why didn't all of your fans who were asking you to speak out after your terrible apology saying that you were leaving the beauty YouTube community, uh, why didn't that inspire you? Because I'm sorry, Shane, I spent all of this money <laughs> <laughs> I do not have a lot of money, okay? And I spent this money on a pallet. Why didn't your fans inspire you to apologize? Why did Jenna Marbles inspire you to apologize? I say this with a smile. <laughs> but <sighs> I don't understand that. Like, I understand that you wanted to use her format because it was accepted so widely because not only did she apologize because she did something wrong and she has actually grown from it and you should have done the same thing, but <sighs> obviously you want to use the same thing, guy. But my point is, your fans who have devoted their time to you through your crap, should have inspired you. Not Jenna Marbles. Here's something else that I wanna add. I can't accept his apology because I'm not someone who is affected by his jokes. I can't accept an apology for blackface because I'm white, okay? Black people should be the people who accept or deny or hold on to that apology and decide later. Period. I just don't understand the logic. Why are all these people so quick to accept his apology? I just don't understand. I just don't. I also feel that sorry is not going to cut it. A 20 minute video of you explaining things, even though I think at the beginning the video was well said, and then it kind of, I don't think a 20 minute video of apologizing, of apologizing is going to do it. I really don't. I think that whenever you have, I want to say hundreds of clips coming out of you doing either blackface, making inappropriate jokes in general, or inappropriate jokes about children, whenever those are coming out, sorry's not going to cut it, sweetheart. You need to make 
some sort of change. You need to make it to where people can trust you and not fake trust you. You need to make it to where people know that you've changed. Take some time and make some real changes. I'm disappointed. Like, I thought that he was someone who was just anxiety-ridden, wanting to change the world. And here I was sitting here, yes, Shane, you do it. I want to buy your palette. And I'm, I'm just disappointed. You need to make real, real change. Not this fake crap. You need to make people believe it. And not just make people believe it. You need to show it. And that's all I have to say about this situation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't really enjoy baking it, I'm going to be honest. This was not fun. Ugh. This week has not been fun. I'm sorry. These are people that I've watched for years. I wear their, I buy their makeup. I wear their makeup. And it just, it sucks. It really does. And if you're like, oh, you're just ridiculous. You're being a dramatic girl. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I am. Fine. I'll own that all day long. But yeah, it sucks. It does. Um, I hope you understand where my heart is. And yeah, see y'all next time.